Welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. A new book, Forever Blue Moon, is an illustrated history of the fight to save the U District Tavern. There's also a book called Forever Wasted, an illustrated history of the fights inside the tavern. <laughs> well, the remains of a 12,000-year-old mammoth were found this week in Moses Lake. Scientists speculate that being from Moses Lake, the mammoth probably died of boredom. <laughs> In a related story, the fossil footprint of a seven-foot-tall prehistoric bird was found recently in the Puget Sound Basin. Experts say that they're certain it's authentic because they found a heavily splattered prehistoric windshield nearby. <laughs> According to a USA Today poll, the thing American moviegoers want most is an armrest with a cup holder. For Sylvester Stallone movies, they also want a mute button. <laughs> well... The first ever pregnant doll is now being sold in stores. The mommy-to-be doll comes complete with a wedding ring, an expandable tummy, and maternity clothes. Also available is the deadbeat daddy-to-be doll, <laughs> which comes with an empty wallet, a Toyota 4x4, and an endless supply of Schmidt beer. <laughs> well, Nintendo has dropped the price of the Super Nintendo system by $30. Officials say that the price includes a new baseball game cartridge called Super Mariner Brothers, in which kids will have to play at least five or six games before they can win. <laughs> Finally, in a related story, the agent of Seattle Mariner pitcher Gene Harris says his client is thinking of switching careers to football. He said that Harris favors football because in that sport, you can't lose more than 16 games a season. This has been the job of the